Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're talking about the Divi resources page. Um, Elegant Themes have a resources page that you can see in front of you and I'll put the link below the video. And they're forever giving away free layouts and things like that that you can import into your Divi theme. And some of them are absolutely beautiful. Um, but some people ask, how do we actually do this? And it's pretty easy. Go to this page. Like I say, I'll put the link below this video. Choose whichever one you want. Most of them are going to be custom global. Uh, let's take this blog post one, for instance. And it'll show you it. And it'll give you the opportunity to download the file. Just hit the files here. It may ask you for your email address, but they don't ask you for anything. Once you put it in there, you'll see a download the files button. With me, if I click on it, it downloads it to my browser window here because I'm using Google Chrome. Yours will uh, download it to whatever your default location is. And down underneath, there's a bit of an explainer on how to install it. Some of them you want to install into your library. Some of them you want to install in your custom theme builder. This one's the theme builder. So let's go ahead and do that. That's a zip file right there. We need an actual JSON file. So I'm going to put it in a folder and unzip it quickly. There we go. There's the unzipped version of it right there. As you can see, it's a JSON file. Let's go to a site. I've got a site here that's got posts on it because this is blog posts. Obviously, you need some blog posts. Okay, well, let's go to our theme library, which is down to Divi, actually the theme builder we need for this today. So we'll go down to the theme builder. And right at the top of the page here, you'll see these two up and down arrows. This is for portability and importing and exporting. If I click on that, I can hit the import. I'm going to simply drag this unzipped JSON file over or you can browse to it if you want and I'm going to drop it in there. It's okay to override the default website templates. If you're happy with that, that's fine. This is just for blog posts, so this, this should work fine. So I hit the import button. There we are, it's imported over here and we've got an uninsight. I'm going to put it in here with this one that I've got a global footer for. And we'll delete that one. And we're going to go up and reassign it. Manage template assignments up here. I want to make sure it's assigned to all posts. Saying I've got another template there, that was the one I had over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that save. Now at the moment our posts, if we look at one of them, I haven't saved it yet so they shouldn't have changed. They're pretty standard, just a regular generic WordPress post right there. So let's go back and now we'll actually save our little template here. I'm going to save the changes. Go back to our post. I'll refresh the page just in case it doesn't pick up on that. Now let's have another look at one. And as you can see, it's completely changed it. Our header is absolutely the same and our global footer will be absolutely the same. But you've got this lovely stunning looking post here that's pulling in all my post data. And there's our global footer which is probably not the the best looking thing there for this particular project but that is how to go to the Divi resources and download and use their resources like I say a lot of them you'll do in the theme builder and some of them you'll just put directly in your library so do take a look they really have got some great free stuff here So I hope you found that useful today and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.